Right, here I am. Yeah, look at that. I'm at uh, Motor Techniques. Yeah, Yamaha, uh, Pagiolo, Vas uh, Vespa, Aprilia, Motor Gazier, of course, you know. What am I on today? At last, a scooter. <laughs> Marvellous. Um, I'll get going and. Oh, look at that. Yeah, Vespa. Uh, GTS 300 oh, it's just marvellous isn't it just look at it oh, don't know how I'm going to get on with this but we'll find out oh look at that we're off oh so smooth <laughs> it's absolutely marvellous so I'm going to go out through the inn yeah look at that for a cheeky monkey Um, this is in like a beige colour. You can get any colour you like. I sort of like this though. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is dead comfy. I can tell you that. Oh, unbelievable. Uh, if you went back to my teenage years, the thought of me riding a scooter, I'd have laughed at you. No way. But here I am because I have discovered that actually they're quite a hoot and this has uh, been stood it's a brand new baby <laughs> yeah um, brakes a little bit squeaky it's been so dry and not used but what I'm going to do obviously I'm going to have a little ride see how I get used to it and um, take it from there yeah um, what have we got? Well, oh, we've got um, Mickey Mouse mirrors. Yeah, need some adjustment. Let's just give that. Oh, dead easy to adjust. Perfect. And that one's perfect. Yeah, that's just excellent. Um, so, yeah, Mickey Mouse mirrors. Got a dashboard. Shit, reminds me of a pie or something like that. Maybe a Mr. Kipling. Let me get my visor shut. Um, it's a glorious day today. Marvellous day to be out on a scooter. Um, and you're going too fast, Mr. Scooter. Yeah. Um, it is marvellous. Oh, it goes so easy. It really does. Uh, it's got traction control. Yeah, and ABS. And you can turn the traction control on or off um, I've got it on yeah oh, it's got trip stuff like that um, carrying capacity under the seat of course um, and a little hook down between your legs for your shopping um, so you know if you don't want to put your if you're worried about frozen stuff putting it on top of the engine then you don't have to um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to nip up here, I'm going to go up to the castle, you know Holy Castle, um, we'll do a few back roads first, um, but this just goes so well, I'm at 60 miles an hour, it doesn't feel like 60, uh, it's quite incredible really, um, yeah, it's slow down, um, Brake horsepower, about 23, 24, something like that. Um, don't know what the torque is. Uh, it's a bit slow to get going. It's got the, uh, it's twist and go. Yeah, what do they call it? A CBT or something like that. Transmission, you know. Oh, it just slips through. Um, and it's marvellous for it. Of course, one of the things about it are oh, indicators. Just looking to see where where indicators are. In fact, I don't know where indicators are. Um, but yeah, uh, suspension feeling at the moment on this bumpy back road. Well. These are made for Rome. Have you ever driven in Italy? The roads are terrible. 
absolutely appalling yeah so of course the suspension's fine it copes just fine with it in fact i'd almost say it's made for it <laughs> yeah <laughs> um it's uh handling well i haven't had to do much with it so far but uh, um yeah it's quite sharp it turns in um and of course slow speed maneuverability uh, will be a doddle. I mean the handlebar range is quite incredible Get the indicator on and we'll get down here Yeah, it just turns in absolutely fine uh, Obviously the brakes up here so left is the back brake Turn the indicator off. Don't know if they're self-cancelling. Won't take that chance and because I've got a big fat camera in my face, I can't see it. Yeah, <laughs> marvellous. Um, and uh, what we'll do is, we're going to get up here. Yeah, so uphill, and this is quite a steep hill, just pulls, no trouble at all. Bumpy old road, bendy, which you won't see of course have i have explained that before with gopro they straighten everything out it always looks like you're just going in a straight line <laughs> which is uh, uh frustrating sometimes but that's fine so over these bumps tiny little wheels don't know how big they actually are but we'll see yeah So on the speedo, what we've actually got is um, miles per hour on the inside, under sort of underneath, and kilometres on the outside. I think that's what it is. I'll double check. I don't know what it'd be like for overtaking but this car's quite slow on this road do we overtake? let's overtake going far too slow well done little scooter of course it's not running um, yeah it goes really well Uh, but it should really 300 cc's 24 brake horsepower um, it's not overstretched dead comfy brakes absolutely fine I don't know if the brakes are linked um, I don't know if they're linked at all so Boom, boom. There we go. <laughs> it's just so easy. Um, yeah, we, you'll see when we walk around. Um, it's sort of beige, but it's sort of metallic. It's got like metallic flecks in it. And it's got a lovely chrome surround and everything. Whoops, steady. Oh, dealt with that humpback bridge absolutely fine yeah so could I could I see myself commuting on this well I guess I could yeah and it goes so easily seems to handle fine um, yeah it goes with the flow of the traffic no problem brakes seem good uh, don't know what the brakes are, whether they're Brembo or not. They could be, couldn't they? They could be. We'll try and have a look. Um, but there you go. Uh, the castle's not far down here. Uh, of course, you won't actually see the castle. You'll just see the mound. 
but that's fine isn't it yeah yeah it doesn't move when you turn into a corner even though these roads are bumpy and you probably won't notice that again because um, uh, GoPro uh, stabilization and what have you He ground his gears, didn't he? Marvellous. We're going down here. And we'll park up down by the moat. Yeah. And it has got a bit of a voice to it now. I've seen these with uh, Aquapovic exhausts on. Which is marvellous, isn't it? Right, so we'll get down here. Squeaky squeaky brake. I don't think that's an issue with anything. And we'll get here and we'll do a walk round. Just here. There we go. Um, side stand. Of course, it's got a centre stand. Um, turn that off. Um, and turn that off like that. That all goes off. And. Uh, you can have a look at it yeah let's see what we've got so there you go what do you think sort of a beige but it's metallic yeah GTS 300 Vespa oh, it's lovely isn't it um, but let's get the other camera out and have a look right here we are yeah like I say Vespa GTS 300 Oh, it's marvellous in this beige colour with like a chrome surround all around here look it's just marvellous Vespa there uh, indicators and side lights um, obviously the headlamp round um, it's got to be easy to keep clean hasn't it wash everything marvellous these chrome Mickey Mouse mirrors um, chrome ends on the on, on the bars um, and pretty decent looking chunky uh, brake levers um, it's just marvellous uh, chrome grab rail yeah for the passenger foot pegs here just come out like that for passenger um, that's lovely isn't it chrome on the exhaust there just marvellous um, Obviously, it's same down the other side. Got a centre stand um, and side stand. That's marvellous, isn't it? Uh, the brake. Uh, let's have a look. Can't see that one. Someone did mention the possibility that their Brembo doesn't look like it. But who knows? Uh, traction control, like I say. Seat. So keyless ignition uh, is the first thing I'll say. Uh, you can open the seat with the key, um, but I'll, because I'm handling the camera, I'm not going to show you that. So is the dash. <laughs> See what I mean? Shaped like a loaf of uh, not a loaf, like a pie in a cupcake or a cupcake maybe. I don't know. Um, traction control, keyless ignition, so turn it on, there we go, everything working, ABS, traction control, uh, fuel, I'm nearly empty, I've been riding around too long, um, uh, what else we got, engine temperature, um, yeah all sorts, usual gubbins, um, open the seat there you go just like that seat opens get all sorts on there this just lifts out and you've got access to your engine Hot fuel in here marvellous isn't it um, but you're not finished there no here you've got a carrying hook open that open that hang your bag on let go 
lock and your shopping's there safe. Um, also, push that, that opens up, put your phone, wallet, whatever you like in there, and a USB just in there, yeah. Uh, charge your phone on the go. It's marvellous, isn't it? Um, that's about it, let's just turn it off. Um, but there you go, what do you think ladies and gentlemen? What I find with these scooters is so many good little features. Um, I just love it. But let's get going and do the senses because you know, that's what we're about, isn't it? Senses, marvellous. Right, here we are back on board. Yeah, get my glove on. Marvellous. Um, ignition, uh, obviously, keyless ignition. Turn that on. Let everything fire up. Everything check. Do all its checks and what have you. Uh, hand on the brake. Side stands up. And there we go. We're off. Um, and I best head back and do the census test because we haven't got a huge amount of fuel, have I? No. So, I am going to go uh, No, I'm going to go this way Going to go this way Yeah, marvellous So, census test Yeah, let's get straight out there um, Well Everything's going to be skewed, isn't it? Because, I mean, just look at the weather. Look at the countryside. You're already feeling pretty damn good. But let's get on with um, the taste taste test. What would it taste like? I'm not going to taste it. Um, but I reckon this could be a cappuccino. Definitely cappuccino or a latte or something like that with plenty of sugar in maybe a caramel a caramel latte or something yeah silky smooth creamy sweet yeah that's what this would be i mean going through these country trees like this in the sunshine it's just marvelous and so easy um and then uh smell doesn't smell of anything just smells of newness like a new car is what it smells like yeah uh simple as that then to look at well it's, it's a scooter it looks like a scooter it looks like a vespa more importantly that's what it looks like um i don't know what he was doing um uh, it just handles these bumps and this gravel and the bends just fine yeah yeah it's not a sports bike it's not meant to be <laughs> um, but it is exactly what it looks like a scooter it can't look like anything else with a name like Vespa on it can it these potholes are terrible it just bounces over the top of them marvellous um, engine noise well you can put a pipe on like i said doesn't need it um far more reliable than the old two-stroke ones as well um uh and then what we, then what have we got to touch and feel well it's just marvelous um yeah that's what i'd say um the sound, well, we've already done the sound. Yeah, we've already done the sound. It sounds like a scooter, it sounds like a moped, it sounds like a hairdryer. All those things that people will say about it. Well, it does, but what do you expect? It's a scooter. <laughs> Marvellous. Um, and that doesn't bother me at all because it does a job. Um, get all sorts under the seat, crumpets, loaf of bread. Um, tins of beans anything you wanted or an open face helmet um, or even perhaps a small 
full face helmet I don't know I haven't tried but it looks pretty big and of course the shopping thing at the front and the place for your phone and your wallet or documents or anything you want and a USB what else can I say um, it's marvelous definitely marvelous with a bit of Italian style um, let's go on a little bit because it does go on um, to 60 yeah um, but there you go um, how does it make me feel I love it I really do I like it and I can see why people buy them I will, would I have one to commute to work oh absolutely yeah in winter as my winter commute this would be marvellous wouldn't it what I need to do is get Mrs Tame to buy one that I can use in winter because she won't ride in winter I can tell you that um, but that would be marvellous wouldn't it yeah I save uh, Buddy and Bertie and everyone else from uh, getting that salt attack yeah I don't know how long will the last I assume that they're pretty damn reliable because they're so underpowered um, for what they are but they, let's face it they're not particularly aerodynamic are they um, I don't know what the top speed is but I should imagine you'd be able to do most things on it and I shouldn't imagine it's much different to up yeah but that's my imagination and I could be wrong but right now I've got to take it back yeah back to Motor Technics just here at Stone Market just off the A14 dead easy excellent location an excellent location for test rides because you can get out into the country dead easy yeah but here we are uh, they're also next to a petrol station as well brakes absolutely fine look at that I mean what can I say it just goes it goes um, let's have one last look at it uh, let's have a look uh, turn it off there we go turn that off there we go side stand down um, and here we go let's have a look there you go oh Vespa GTS 300 uh, marvellous absolutely marvellous here at uh, Motor Technics Oh, it's just brilliant. Thank you very much.